Hello everyone, welcome back to your JavaScript series. I'm gonna just clean off all of these files, get rid of this ordered list, and we'll keep the button because you know, it's it's cute. All right, so we're gonna start fresh. We're gonna start working with the DOM. You know, it might actually be good to leave that list in there. So we'll, we'll put this list in here so we can see that inside of the DOM structure. So before we get started with the DOM, please check out our sponsor, Dev Mountain. Are you looking for a JavaScript web development bootcamp? What about an iOS bootcamp? Dev Mountain offers classes online and in person with housing at no additional cost. Learn how to build real world applications and get a job in the industry through Dev Mountain's career centric program. Whether it's web development, iOS, user experience, or quality assurance, Dev Mountain has a class for you. Let them know I sent you their way and they'll give you $250 off the tuition. Link in the description. So in the browser, go into the console, developer tools, go to document dot and type in child and one of these in here is child nodes expanding this you can see we have html this is the one we are interested in so expand that and in here we're going to have more children so we can expand the child nodes we can see we have the head and the body ignore the the text here these things are automatically added based on how we have our source code typed out, but they're not actually contributing to the structure of the page. So what we just care about is this body. We can expand that and we can see child nodes again, expanding that and you can see our structure. We got those texts we can ignore. So the main thing in here is the ordered list and the button. So you can go through this and see the entire structure of our page. Using this structure, we could grab any element in the entire page. So rather than grabbing something by an ID or a class, we could grab it by traversing this structure and grabbing the node. So for example, if I wanted to grab every element in the ordered list, here's something we could do. Let's go back to our code. Scoot over everybody. And we'll go into the JavaScript file. And we'll say let list equal, we're gonna go to document.childnodes and we'll just follow this structure. So the very top, the child nodes is going to give us two elements. We want that, that index one dot. Doing it again, we'll go to child nodes. And this time we want index two for the body dot child nodes. And this time we want index one, which is that ordered list. All right, so this should do it. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna console log this list Make sure we got everything right. And doing a refresh here, you can see, look at that, we got the ordered list. And here you can see the elements inside of it. That's really cool. So that's how we can traverse the structure, just by going through the children. So now you can also grab a node's parent. To see that, we can say console log list.parent element. Doing a refresh, we see it's the body, which makes sense. Now, if you want to work with this a little bit more dynamically, you can just type it out in here. If that's what you prefer to do, you're not just going to be able to type it like so, you're going to have to get rid of these curly braces. I think that'll do it. There we go. When we have the curly braces in, the items are just scoped to these curly braces, so after we get to line seven, it's gone. In this situation, list is not gonna exist, see? Now nodes can also have siblings. So let's see what that looks like. We will console log list.sibling and you can see we have next sibling and previous sibling. Let's go with next sibling and see what we get. You can see we get that text which is annoying so we just can skip that by going to dot next sibling. Refresh and we get the button. So structurally that makes sense. We have the ordered list then we have the button. So those are some of the basics. You can see there are a lot of other options. So just to see some of them, you can type document and just typing in child, you can see we have all these different possibilities. So what we're gonna do is in the next video, we're gonna talk about getting elements by tag name and getting elements by class name. That should be pretty fun. So be sure to subscribe and go check out the next video.